a two division world champion, but you had to work for it in this one. What did you think of your performance? It wasn't the best performance. I'll admit that. I got my job broken in like the sixth round or some shit. It shit hurts. I could barely talk right now. We'll keep this quick then. What what happened in that sixth round? Uh, I guess I got caught with my mouth open and cracked my shit. What made this guy so difficult to track down? He clearly came into this fight in great shape, was elusive throughout. What made him so difficult? He just didn't want to get, um, throw or engage in the fight, kept moving. But, I mean, I had to figure him out. That's boxing. You got to take any style that's given to you and make sure you get the W. I won't make you speak too more, but you now have one piece of the 112-pound crown. You've got the options out there, whether it's Julio Cesar Martinez or Sonny Edwards. What do you want to do next? Sonny Edwards, that's the only option. I think he's been talking, so we'll make it happen. Congratulations, Jesse. Sir, Eddie will give him a break. He certainly looks like that jaw is in a lot of pain. Um, he does want to fight Sonny Edwards next. Is that a fight very easy to make? Yeah, it's very easy to make. It's just on timing now. You know, obviously with that injury, if that jaw is broken, that's going to keep him out till probably the back end of the year. Sonny needs to fight. So maybe we look at Martinez, Delakian, or even a voluntary defense in the meantime. But that's the fight now. Unification fights, one champion in the division. Jesse Rodriguez tonight became the first ever man from San Antonio to become a two-division world champion. He's a great product to this city, and although he broke his jaw tonight, he won a division championship, and on he goes to unifications. Certainly was. Onward and upward for Jesse Rodriguez. Guys? They're looking at that jaw right now. Sergio, perhaps a broken jaw. I mean, I can't imagine fighting, what, another five or six rounds with your jaw broken? I had a fractured jaw once, and yes, it's... it's uh, not only, not only do you get worried about engaging and you don't want to, you don't fight your, your, your normal fight because you don't want to get hit there again. So that explains a lot of why we didn't see the, the, the normal uh, angles and the, 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 the punching of Bam Rodriguez and the aggression. But it also, you got to give credit to Gonzalez as well because he, he had a game plan and it wasn't pretty, but he was able to win three, four rounds in, in a, some judges' scorecards. Chris, okay. I know you're not a doctor, but I'm going to ask you to play one on TV. How'd that injury look? You know, when I asked the first question, I was aware that he hurt his jaw at some point during the fight. But as he spoke, seeing the blood underneath his lip, seeing the way his jaw looked a little bit different than how it's supposed to look for a normal person, I wanted to get him out of there as fast as humanly possible. But, hey, great performance by Jesse Rodriguez in his first fight at a full 112. Yes, congratulations to Jesse Bam Rodriguez.